done? Alright, I will tell you guys the answer is D. Very surprising, huh? Because we don't even have the log anymore. Alright, let's go for this. The key to do this right here is not to use your calculator, but rather to use the log properties. And this is one of the ways that I like to introduce log properties with my students. For the first one, when we are adding two logs that they have the same base, in fact, we do not add the insides together since this is 10. This is wrong. Rather, we will multiply the insides together, 8 and 2. Multiply them, we get 16, and we have the same base. So the correction is we have log of 16. And the property that we use is, let me just write down because, log with some base B of something inside A, and we add it with another log with the same base B of something else B, this right here we can combine them into just one logarithm with the same base B, and then we multiply the insights together, A times B. Just like this. Multiplication, alright? It's red, it's white, I don't know. There we go, something like that. Alright, now the next one. We have a subtraction. 8 minus 2. It's not too well. No, 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 no. Same thing like this. When we have a subtraction, we are not supposed to. That doesn't even make sense. This is so wrong, huh? But no, here is the correct to do it. Just like earlier, when we have an addition, inside we multiply, yeah? Right here, when we have a subtraction, which is the opposite of uh, addition, what do we do? We will take this, divided by that. So, the correct answer for this right here is should be log of 8, divided by 2, which is 4. So here, let me write that down, because when we have log of some base A and B, of a minus, right, this was here was a plus, here now it's a minus, log b of b, we get log b of a divided by b. It's a division inside, a divided by 2 is equal to 4. Now, for the next one, it's a little bit trickier. We are multiplying this and that, so what should we do with the inside? Uh, unfortunately, there's no nice formula to take care of this. Yeah? So, I will tell you guys the closest thing that we can possibly get for this. One of the things that we can do is, we can put this number up here and get an exponent, which is a little bit overkill. I will still show you guys this anyway though. It's kind of, like, it's not common, because you usually don't see log times another log. But anyway though, I will write this down first. When we have something inside, uh, in front, let's say some number n, yeah, times log base b of a, and whatever this is, you can put this up here and make that into an exponent instead of the logarithm. So this right here becomes log b of a raised to the nth power, like that. So in this case, if you treat this as the coefficient, you can put this number, log of 8, right here and make that into an exponent. So the expression is going to look like log of 2, but raised to the log of 8 power. So let me just put that down right here. So what exactly is this though? That's like the best thing that we can do. Yeah. But anyway, usually when you want to use this property, you just have a nice number in front, right? But in this case, I just want to match, we have all log 8 in front and log all log 2 for the second one, so that's why I have this. But anyway, that's what we have. You can simplify this a little bit more, but I'm not going to get into that. Now, D. Hmm. We don't even have log anymore, and this is correct. Why? Here, I will write this down for you guys. When we divide two logarithms, this is called the change of log properties. I will write this down right here for you guys, because if we have log of a, again, same base, and then divided by, let me just put on divided by, log base b of b. This right here equals log, this right here goes inside, this b right here becomes the base. 
Keep in mind this B is right here now. So this one right here, I can work it out for you guys as this right here. This is the same as log. This number, which is eight, and then this number two, which is right down here, like this. So it becomes log base two of eight. Yeah. And in fact, this right here, it's equal to three. Why? I'll show you. This right here is because we have log base two of eight. It's the same as two to the third power. And for two to the third power, what we can do is we can use this property but backwards, meaning we put the n to the front, right? So we can put the three to the front, and then we look at three log two of two. And log base two of two, when the base right here matches with this, this right here is just equal to one. So this is just three times one, and that's why the answer is just equal to three.